Hello again, this is Victor. I'm going to be walking you through a system right now called Load Constraints. Uh, and this is a scheduling tool that you'll use if you want to set um, specific characteristics or students say that cannot be in the same class together or that should not be in the same course with a specific teacher. So these are called student and teacher avoid constraints, uh, which you can set in the load constraints for your, your school. So since this is in PowerSchool, the first thing you want to do is log into PowerSchool. Once you're logged in, you're going to make sure that you navigate to the correct school that you're going to be wanting to put these constraints into. Once you're inside the school, uh, you're going to go to a menu that I rarely direct people to, um, and that is under Scheduling Setup. About halfway down, you're going to see this thing called Constraints. Since I'm doing a load-only scenario in this case, I'm only going to be shown load constraints. Now what this is going to do is it's going to give me a couple of features that I want. The first one is a balance adjustment. So if I want to reserve, say, 10 seats in a normal class for honors students, so say I have a concurrent running section of honors for students who've already taken it before, I will click on this balance adjustment and go ahead and add new. And what this will let me do is add a new course and add a new teacher, and then I can reserve a certain number of, of seats in that class, corresponding to the number of honors kids that I have, so that no matter what, the two courses combined cannot exceed a certain number. Then the next ones that we want to look at is the student avoid. The student avoid is important because what it does is allow you to associate two students to one another, and it will never allow those two students to be loaded into the same course together. So this is great for courses where a teacher from a previous year says that this student A and student B should never be in the same class together because there's conflict. What you can do is add this into the system and it won't let those students be in a course together at all. Now, it's kind of a powerful feature, but realize that it may lead to constraint problems down the road where schedules won't actually compute because you have too many constraints built for that student. The next thing you want to look at is this teacher avoid constraint. What the teacher avoid constraint does is you can set it so that a student and a teacher will never be assigned together. So if you know that a student, student A, has a personal grudge and disagreement with teacher A, you associate them in this field and submit it, and what it will do is it won't let those two be, or that student be in the course with that teacher at any point in the load. That's how you configure the student avoid and teacher avoids to make sure that they don't happen on the load within Power Scheduler. If you have any questions about this video, just shoot me an email or a note or leave comments on this video. Thanks.